Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video we are going to do the top 5 gang horses. What I mean by that is we are going to take a look at the gang horses and see which ones are actually the best. Um, keep in mind guys from like the 4th place to the 1st place you can definitely change it up a little bit over there. Because they are all pretty good, they are all actually <laughs> really good. Um, the stats are pretty amazing. I don't have the specific stat but what you want to see, uh, I think I picked in the correct order. Um, but if there's any gang horses I missed or any better gang horses that I missed, then definitely let me know. But I think I actually got all of them. So, you know, that's going to be... It's going to It's actually kind of interesting to see which ones are the better ones. Um, also, guys, keep in mind, there are just stationary. So I can have, I cannot move them. They're just in the same place. Because, you know, you cannot ride gang horses. And um, so you, you'll see that later in the video. I'm not able to move them or I'm not able to sit on them. Um, I cannot ride them as well. But you will see that later on in the video. So for my number five, I actually went with this one. This one is kind of interesting because, you know, this one is called Enos. I think I pronounced that correctly. But this one is actually the only horse that is like... This, this is actually the only... Well, there's another one as well. But this horse you can actually buy. Um, not with a name or something like that. But just, you know, you can buy this horse. Because this horse is actually uh, an American standard bred. And he's a silver tail buckskin. So I think you know, a silver tail buckskin, like I said, you know, you can buy it in the wild, um, which is pretty well. It's, it's actually pretty good. It's actually the, one of the better um, American standards. But this horse is actually from Sean McGuire. If you guys don't know, Sean McGuire is like the, the Irish guy. Um, I'll probably leave a photo up here somewhere about him. Um, but this one is actually his horse. And interesting enough, this, like I said, this is the only horse, or not the only horse, but this horse you can buy. And while we go into the further into the list, you can definitely see a difference between the horses um, and their rarity. Because some of the horses you cannot find and not actually buy, which is interesting. But, you know, the American Standard, like I said, is a pretty cool horse. And this one as well. This one is a, a really cool horse. I also like his saddle that he put on. You know, it looks a little bit goldish um, from here. And I think it's a really cool horse overall. But this is not not actually a rare horse, you know, you can definitely pick it up somewhere. Um, you can actually pick it up in the tumbleweed stable if you want to know. But I think, you know, he's a pretty cool horse. And if you go back into the to the stats, he has decent stats. His health is not great, stamina is not great. But we're not going to take a look at that. Um, we're going to see, well, we're going to take a look at that. But not in this, not in this horse. Because this horse, it's a good horse, but... The upcoming horses are definitely way better. And the reason why he's in the top 5, because the stats is actually pretty good as well. But I actually kind of like the, the saddle that he put on. And also, you know, just because the stats are pretty good. Um, but the saddle is also pretty rare. Um, well, I, I'm not sure if you can buy this, but I think this horse or Enos actually is a pretty cool horse, to be honest. And, you know, Sean Maguire, you don't see him a lot in the game. But he's definitely a cool and fun character to uh, take a look at. If you guys don't know, um, like I said, I probably leave a picture up here somewhere. But like I said, you know, as you can see, the horse is not moving, so I cannot change that. Um, I cannot move it. I cannot ride it. I was trying to ride it, but I cannot. So and as you can see, the stats are decent, um, but that's why it's on my fourth, on my fifth place. Actually, it's not that great. So the next one, you already probably know what horse this is. This is actually Hosea's horse, and uh, the horse is called Silver Dollar, and like I said, you probably know already what's, what kind of breed this is. This is actually a Turkmen. This is also a horse that you can buy. Um, also at the Tumbleweed Stable. Um, so if you want, you know, maybe Sean is your favorite character. Or Zaya is maybe your favorite character as well. Then you can definitely pick up a horse and call him Silver Dollar if you want to. As you can see, the stats are definitely a lot better than the uh, the previous one, Enos. But I think, you know, the Turkmen, <laughs> the Turkmen is just amazing. Just, guys... Just pick him up if you already if you don't have him already because the Turkmen is just an amazing and also like the saddle of his horse as you can see it looks kind of classy um, of course Hosea is more of a classic guy than um, than Sean was but I think you know the horse looks insane also you can pick this up at the tumbleweed stable which is also a pretty cool thing so if you want to maybe like make Hosea's horse then you can definitely do that you know you can call him Silver Doll as well and um. You can ride with Hosea, both silver dollars. But I think this horse is also a pretty cool horse, you know. Especially the silver Turkmen. The Turkmen is just a cool breed. 
all the coats are pretty cool and the silver i think the silver is definitely a much underrated horse because the gold one and the dark bay one are probably the you know, most you know most known because the silver one is like kind of like you know tumbleweed stable far from the game um not actually in an area close by um and that's why i think it's underrated but a pretty cool horse to check out to as well so the next horse is also Probably one of my favorite horses, um, this one is actually called Bob. He's also a Turkoman and he's actually a coat called Gold Daple. And you cannot actually buy this coat or buy this coat actually. Because this coat, as you can see, you can buy the gold one, but the Gold Daple you cannot buy. And the difference between the gold and the Gold Daple, I think this one is kind of a little bit more orange and has some um, black spots or some black some black areas in his in his coat and that's why I think you know that's why I like him so much he's not full gold he's a little bit orange and a little bit you know as you can see he's not he's not he's not a gold horse um, like I said more more orange as well and also if you can see on his top um, you can see there some black areas which I think is very cool and this one's actually Sadie's horse so if you don't know Sadie um, she's actually a pretty interesting character to to see in Red Dead Redemption and I think like I said this is probably one of my favorite horses in the game if I was able to buy this or if I was able to pick this up I would definitely ride this like 24 7 while I'm playing the game so that's why he is at my number three so for the next one no nope, if we pretty much know this guy or his horse actually a pretty cool horse as well uh, probably one of the coolest horses in the game as well, I think, you know, his horse is just an amazing horse. Um, and if you can see, he's actually Baylock. And Baylock is actually a Kentucky Saddler from Micah. So I think everybody knows Micah already. Um, you know, Micah the Rat a little bit. But his horse is actually pretty amazing to be a Kentucky Saddler. As you, as you can see, the coat as well. You cannot pick this horse up. You know, you, you cannot find this horse. Um, you cannot, you know... You can, you just can't find it. You can ride it. You can, you can buy it. There's nothing you can do for this horse or to want this horse. Um, but I think this is a pretty cool horse overall, you know. And of course, Micah, you know, pretty. Everyone knows Micah, I think already. Um, but the horse just looks cool. Even if you don't like Micah, then you probably like this horse as well because this horse is just an amazing horse with the with the white hooves and the little white area on his uh, on his head. I think that's a really cool feature to this horse. And I really want there to be an update where you can buy your gang member's horse. Because that would be cool. Imagine riding the, you know, imagine riding Sadie's horse. Um, how cool would that be, you know, just a gold, well, gold dable horse riding around. That would be pretty cool. But this one's also pretty cool. And the cool thing about this, like I said, is a Kentucky Saddler, which is kind of not a great horse. But if you take a look at the stats, the stats are just insane, guys. I mean, the stats are pretty amazing to be a Kentucky Saddler. Um, and that's why I think he's probably... A lot of people know know the horse and a lot of people want the horse. So that's why he's probably also one of the more known horses in the game. Um, and like I said, you can definitely change it up a little bit with the other four, with the other three on the list. But I think he definitely deserves this spot just because he's a Kentucky Saddler with that amount of stats and stamina and stuff like that. So for the number one, you probably guessed it by now. This one is the Count from Dutch Vandeling. And he's actually an Arabian with an albino coat. And <laughs> no, I wish we could... You, you can sort of ride an albino. Um, you can actually find the white one. But the white one doesn't have, you know, all the blue eyes and stuff like that. And uh, this, the, the Albano definitely looks cooler than the white one. Um, that would be pretty amazing if you can ride him. Because you, you cannot see it that well. But he has sort of like blue eyes, which is pretty cool, to be honest. Um, and that's the only reason why I think he, he's such a cool coat. Also, the stats are pretty decent. I think Baylock actually has some better stats. But I wanted to keep this one... Um, on number one because this one is you know Dutch Vandalin and he's a pretty rare coat as well um, overall I think you know all the gang horses that I showed in this video are pretty cool to be honest you know I think my favorite is probably Sadie's horse and Baylock but I think you know the Arabian is pretty cool as well um, 
especially the albino, you know, in the count, everybody knows him. I mean, everybody knows the channeling, you know, he always has a plan. And I think he did an amazing job with finding this horse. That would be kind of cool if there was sort of a little backstory for the horses. I looked up uh, on them and there were none. Otherwise, I would tell you. But I think, you know, the cool thing about this horse is that you can just... I would, to be honest, I would actually be very, very happy if you can actually ride the horses. Um, of course, if you do like a glitch, then you have a small chance of riding the horses. But if you don't want to do glitches, I don't think you can find or ride this horse. But that will maybe come in the near future. And I think the overall, you know, the gang horses, I think that's a cool feature added to the game. And especially like this one. Or actually like all of them, more, more the Baylock and um, Sadie's horse. Hey yeah, guys, that was it for the video. As you can see, I'm riding here my Mahoney Bay. Um, <laughs> pretty cool watch as well. But if you kind of enjoyed this video, then definitely like and subscribe. Like I said, you know, the gang horses, you cannot ride them, you cannot stable them. You can actually do nothing with them. Um, only just look at them. But if I forgot anything, then let me know. And I hope to see you all in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.